Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I like to take science and apply it to plants both indoors and outside and today's video and today's video I'm going to be planting my fall winter crops in the garden socks that I have. So the reason why I'm using the garden socks for my fall winter crops is because I have a high tunnel that is basically made identical to the way that I set up my garden socks. Um, it's a nine and a half foot by two and a half foot wide tunnel and that's going to help me extend my season. I'm in zone three, my first frost is around September 15th. So I only have about 50-ish days and the crops that I chose have days to harvest of 60 or less. The reason for this is because the days are going to start to get cooler and so I'm not going to accumulate as many GDUs, growing degree day units. If you want to learn more about that, I have videos and blog posts and everything about that concept, but I don't have as many left in my growing season. So I need to use season extenders such as low tunnels to help extend that. So some of the things that I'm going to be planting is mostly leafy greens um, that I'll be using to freeze with slash fresh eat. So things like Swiss chard, spinach, um, but keep in mind with the garden socks, you can grow anything. The only thing that you would maybe consider not growing would be something that needs to be trellised if you don't have the garden socks on soil or a lawn and you have them more on like a roof or a brick setup because then you would have to make some sort of custom trellis in that case. You can also do starts in garden socks. Unfortunately, I was hit with hail and it completely destroyed all my starts. So I am going straight from seed. So I'm going to start show you start to finish exactly what I do. Today's video is sponsored by Ketonic. I've been using this for over a year now. It's designed for gardeners, houseplants, and actually large scale operations as well. So be sure to check out the link down below. So this is my garden sock setup. I do need to put some um, carpet underneath this area or basically any sort of weed barrier. If I don't, the grass is only gonna pop through in the areas that it's there and that would have to be hand cut but I'll have to get some of that put in place. Now my garden socks don't have the holes cut in them however I did run the water the drip tape on this for about 45 minutes last night to make sure it's thoroughly soaked all the way through prior to me adding my humic acid which is what I'm going to be placing on this. Reason for that is because this is pure compost and I want to keep it as biologically active as possible. One component I already do have is the fact that I have a lot of air and a lot of oxygen. So there's a lot of nutrient cycling taking place just on its own. The thing that I need to add, however, is the microbes and a continual supply of them because more oxygen um, is a good thing, but I will lack humidity if I don't stay up on watering with these guys and humic acid is going to help me do that. I've done several videos on humic acid and this is the brand that I use. This is a Canadian company. Now keep in mind, humic acid is very, very, very old compost. <laughs> for lack of a better term that's exactly what humic acid is so I'm going to be using this on the socks prior to me putting the seeds in so I'm going to mix these up and I'm going to show you how I apply it so it's 10 milliliters per one liter of water and this is an animal feed bucket that is four liters or I know maybe it's eight so I'm going to just do two capfuls you can't over apply humic acid fun fact it doesn't have any salts or synthetics in it so it's not going to burn your plants by any means it's just wasteful if you use too much so now i'm going to top this up with water and now i'm just going to apply these to the socks remember this is pre-watered again reducing the waste that i may have from loss of the humic acid and i'm just going to pour this over top until the sock looks saturated and i complete the entire area now the important part to this is i do it before i put my seeds in because the next time i apply my humic acid will be after everyone is sprouted i don't want to apply it before i put my seeds in the socks because i need the seeds to line up with the openings and i do find that if i add my humic acid after the fact like in what i did in the backyard um, it will displace the seeds obviously the exception to this rule would be if you are using seedlings or starts and in that case then obviously you wouldn't have to uh, use the humic acid up front. 
So I'm just going to continue this and finish the entire sock area. My grass underneath this is just gonna start going absolutely wild here in the next little bit. So this next part is completely up to you on how you want to place the holes, but you will need scissors or something to cut this with. And you can see some of my compost seedlings coming through. Um, so basically what you wanna do is give it a snip on either side of the drip tape now if you can line it up with the drip hoses like the holes on the hose that's always best but if not it's not a huge deal and the plants will find their way through this and they'll open these holes a little bit more over time and just make sure you have your garden socks in the place that you intend to leave them they are movable by all means but just something to keep in mind there. So again, the density in which you put the holes is completely up to you. What I did last fall compared to what I did this spring, I ended up cutting some more holes in because I did uh, lettuce in it for the summertime. And so I just planted them a little bit more dense. So I, I popped some more holes in between. But for right now, I'm going to do like kale, Swiss char, some bigger, taller plants in here. So I'm going to give them just a little bit of space. And then next year I want to do cabbage in here. So I'm just going to do them on either side and I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna be doing uh, rainbow kale, Latino, Lacinato, I don't know. Anyways, these from West Coast Seeds, these are huge plants. I actually have these growing in the backyard right now. I'm gonna use up the rest of what I do have. So on West Coast Seeds, they always have the germination rate listed. This is 92%, so it's actually pretty high. So I'm going to just do two seeds per hole and all you're going to do is literally place them in and then give them a little tiny push and you're done. The next one I'm going to plant is peppermint char, this char and just a heads up whenever you see seeds that look like this it means that there's more than one plant inside of there so every single one of those eye holes is a plant that could potentially germinate so you can see this guy right here there's three two, three, uh, three, five on that one. So you're only gonna plant one of these seeds per hole. Next up, I'm going to do giant winter spinach. These are 45 day OP. So I'm going to simply do two per hole again, because the germination rate on these bad boys is 83%. I had to move into the shade before my poor fair skin went up in flames but regardless i am completed now i'm just going to simply use that drip tape once every two ish days um and i will run it for about 30 minutes again depending on the heat if it's not super hot then i would back off to about every three or four the key is to keep that soil surface moist until we get some germination action and in some cases it may be necessary just to do a light misting over top of the area after that, I'm just going to simply do that humic acid application once every three-ish weeks. Um, and then as I get closer into the cooler season, I actually may increase that just because I really want to, again, keep things biologically active and moving in hopes of retaining some heat because just nutrient cycling in general does cause some heat so that will help as well i um, thank you guys so much for watching i will leave links to the humic acid and the garden socks down in the description below and you guys have to let me know what fall crops you have planted what you intend to plant and i will talk to you guys next time bye